So this lawsuit from Disney is insane. And it's not insane because somebody died on Disney property, which I'm sure has happened a ton. You know, Disney World is a huge place with millions of people coming every year. So things happen, but they used probably the worst possible Weasley way to try to get out of the lawsuit. Now, if you've ever signed up for a streaming service like Disney Plus or Netflix or any of these, then you know that there's a terms of service. And if there's a terms of service, you can bet your ass. I didn't read it because, no, come on, nobody's reading through that shit. And to be honest, even if there's something I don't like, I'm still probably going to agree and sign up for it. But Disney used a family's 2019 trial sign up of Disney Plus to try to get their way out of this major lawsuit. So let's get into this, guys. So essentially what happened is a family went to Disneyland. Disneyland or Disney World? It's the one that's in Orlando, Florida, okay? And they went to one of the restaurants, actually a really popular restaurant. It's called uh, Raglan Road Irish Pub. This is a long-standing restaurant. It's been around for what seems like a long time. If you go to the reviews, it has over 7,000 reviews, which tells me they've been there for uh, a very long time. But they are a third-party restaurant that operates in Disney's Spring Resort and Spa area. So you guys can see on this map, uh, directly within their borders, 100%. So essentially what happens is, I, I don't want to mispronounce this family's name, but uh, Tegson, Tegson's uh, family says in the lawsuit that 42-year-old doctor had a fatal allergic reaction. So they went out to this pub and they had called ahead of time. They had told their server, this is all alleged by the way, told their server multiple times, hey, there is a really bad nut and dairy allergy. Can you please make sure that there's no chance of cross-contamination? Now, typically in this situation, uh, most servers that I've seen, when you, when you go for dinner with somebody with life-threatening allergies or even uh, partial allergies, uh, unless they can guarantee it, they'll say something like, I'm sorry, we do our best, but we cannot guarantee there will be no cross-contamination. And this gives the individual the opportunity to, you know, weigh the risk, right? Okay, can I actually eat here if your allergies are life-threatening? Probably not. You probably want to leave. But in this case, it was apparently guaranteed that the food was allergen-free. And after 45 minutes after dinner, she collapsed and later passed away due to anaphylactic shock. And this is coming from a doctor at the hospital, the med medical examiner. So they did verify that this was the cause of death, just in case you're wondering if it was something else. Now, this is basically what set up the lawsuit from the husband and the family. And I, I honestly think rightfully so. Again, if they were really guaranteed there was no cross-contamination, I would put that fault directly on the restaurant and on management. And in this case, this is a restaurant that although it is a third party, which Disney has recognized that they are not the owner of the restaurant, they are basically subleasing the lot and allowing that restaurant to operate on their premises. Which I don't know legally if the lawsuit should have been with the restaurant or with Disney, but in this case, the lawyer obviously seemed like the best move was to go after Disney first. And I agree, a place like Disney World or Disneyland, even if you are subleasing these out and it's third parties that are running these restaurants or businesses, you're a big company. It is your responsibility to hold certain standards with your food and with the safety of your guests. So here is Disney's overall position. Disney said in a statement this week that it is deeply saddened by the family's loss, but stressed that the Irish, Irish pub, which is being sued, is neither owned nor operated by the company, which I just explained. More notably, from a consumer protection standpoint, Disney argues that Piccolo, which is the, the family, uh, had agreed to settle any lawsuits against Disney out of court through arbitration. And do you want to know why they're saying he agreed to do this? Because he signed up for a trial of Disney Plus in 2019. So according to Disney, in their terms of service with the Disney Plus subscription comes a, a specific clause. Let's take a look at this clause right here. So I wish I could highlight this. I'm going to try to highlight it post video creation, but just read along here. Any dispute between you or us, except for small claims, is subject to a class action waiver and must be resolved by individual binding arbitration. Please read the arbitration provision in the settlement. 
it affects your rights under this contract. Now, really quickly, we're gonna use Google here just for a quick explanation of what arbitration is, but it's basically where both parties agree to whatever decision comes their way via a third neutral party, which I, I'm sorry, but when you're dealing with a multi-billion dollar corporation and you're a small family, I don't think there is a neutral third party that, <laughs> that can run this. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I think anyways. And this is mostly put in to protect Disney from like class action lawsuits. So individuals can't start building up their cases and go to one law firm and sue the shit out of Disney. But basically what Disney is saying is because you signed up for a free trial with Disney Plus, and because you use that same Disney account to also purchase your tickets to their theme park, those rules and those laws still apply. Which I'm gonna be honest, maybe legally that would hold up, but it is a disgusting position from Disney. And Disney is one of the worst, the worst companies for lawsuits. The only ones that go up there with Disney would have to be Nintendo, which is notorious for suing every single YouTuber or copyright claiming every single little video with any character in it. But Disney is no better. <laughs> like they just, they're this family friendly brand that does some PR stunts with Make-A-Wish. I'm sorry, but that's what it comes off as just in order to make their image a little bit more focused around family. Now there is one thing I want to point out that definitely does affect the family's case here. Uh, and it has to do with a little statement on the menu from uh, Reagan Road, R Raglan? Raglan Road. Guests must speak to a cast member about their allergy friendly request. While we take steps to help mitigate cross con contact, we cannot guarantee any one item is completely free of allergens. Our allergy-free recipes may use highly refined oils such as soybean and or ingredients that are processed in the facilities that also process allergens. It is ultimately up to our guests to make it an informed decision based on their individual dietary needs. More information about allergy-friendly requests. Ask to speak with our special diet-trained cast members upon arrival. Now that is something that definitely works against the family in this case, right? Um, but again, your staff, your managers, which it seemed like they asked multiple people in this case, do have a responsibility to safety based on the company's training. Now I am not a lawyer, so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know which side would hold up better in court. And if we know big companies, we know that they'll do anything to protect themselves. And they have the best lawyers in the world to write these things up to almost foolproof themselves against specific cases like this. Now, just some more statements from Disney, because I guess people were really pissed about them using Disney Plus in order to kind of wiggle their way out of this. We are merely defending ourselves against the plaintiff's attorney attempt to include us in their lawsuit against the restaurant. Um, because again, they're saying they were off property. But here's my thing ultimately, when we wrap this thing up here. This is a multi-billion dollar company, probably damn near a trillion dollar company with all the assets that they own. The fact that they just can't make a situation like this right is so disgusting. Like what would this be? You know, a couple million dollars to the family, you can wipe your hands off, you, you make it look like a good PR stunt that you, you did the right thing out of the gates, but instead you'd rather spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in lawyer fees just trying to wiggle your way out of a situation. And I wanna be clear, if they went to court and the family lost and Disney didn't use some gross strategy of Disney Plus Terms of Service, then I think that would be totally fair. Because it is perfectly reasonable to say that either the family could have had some serious fault here, or that the restaurant themselves, that owner, is more at fault than Disney. But overall, yeah, Disney sucks, guys. I don't know why these companies try to portray themselves as these angels, but just end up being so scummy. So hit the subscribe button before you leave, guys. See you in the next one.